Eosinophilic esophagitis is a chronic progressive disease that in children often leads to failure to thrive and reduced quality of life. If left untreated, eosinophilic esophagitis can lead to an increased risk of esophageal fibrostenotic complications. Dupilumab, a human monoclonal antibody, is approved to treat adults and adolescents with eosinophilic esophagitis. A new trial evaluated its efficacy and safety in children with the disease. In Part A of this Phase 3 multicenter randomized double-blind placebo-controlled trial, 102 children, 1 to 11 years of age, with eosinophilic esophagitis that was unresponsive to proton pump inhibitors, were assigned to receive weight-tiered, higher or lower exposure subcutaneous dupilumab, or placebo, for 16 weeks. In Part B, eligible patients who completed Part A continued the same dupilumab regimen or switched from placebo to higher or lower exposure dupilumab for an additional 36 weeks. The primary endpoint, histologic remission, defined as a peak esophageal intraepithelial eosinophil count of 6 or fewer per high-power field at week 16, occurred in 68% of the patients receiving higher exposure dupilumab and 58% of those receiving lower exposure treatment, as compared with 3% of patients receiving placebo. The incidence of adverse events was similar across the trial groups, with the majority of the events assessed to be mild or moderate in severity. The authors conclude that in children 1 to 11 years of age with eosinophilic esophagitis, weight-tiered dupilumab regimens led to histologic remission in a significantly greater percentage of patients than placebo. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.